Welcome to Features in 5, our series of 5-minute lessons about enhancements to Penny, our investment partnership accounting software. In this video, we'll show our Penny system administrators how to install a plugin, which adds the functionality of an additional Penny feature. In the next few minutes, you'll learn what a plugin is, why it's used with Penny, and how to install it for your Penny application to use. This is a really quick video, but an important one, so let's get started. First, let me explain a little about a Penny plugin. It's a file that adds to Penny a custom feature requested by a client. This can be a new report, import, or browse and edit screen, or a completely custom process. A plugin is a DLL file, and it's loaded when the Penny application starts. You need to put the plugin file in a specific directory so Penny can find it. So, let's say you have a Penny plugin file. First, you need to create a directory to house the file. So, in the same directory with the Penny application executable file, create a new directory called plugin. Then, you simply copy the plugin DLL file into that directory. The next time Penny is launched, the application looks for the plugin directory and loads all the DLL files in it. So that's all there is to installing a plugin. Just for a quick recap, remember that a Penny plugin lets you add additional user interface features, a plugin is a DLL file, and you put the file in a plugin directory that you create so Penny can read it when you start the application. If you'd like more information on this task, please contact your Client Relationship Manager. And be sure to look for our other videos for system administrators that help explain how to perform other important Penny tasks. Until next time, thanks for watching our Features in 5.